What's good, y'all? Quim XK Quay. We back with another video, man. Just woke up. I think the crust still in my freaking eye. Middle-aged man possesses a high schooler. What happens? Poses. <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> now it's probably the best time to go out skate to prom. She's looking at you. She don't want you, little bro. I don't know, man. But she says no. She knew? One more bucket and we win. Pass me the ball, I'll take the shot. What? No. Ralph should take the last shot. The way he's been playing, he deserves it. No. I can make it. I feel it. No, I ain't gonna lie. Do, Ralph? Don't you think you should take it? No, I'm gonna lie. I don't like playing basketball around pretty women. Let me explain. Anytime you're playing with some with the, the fellas or with some, some people, especially if they're black, it is, it's usually normal. For the most part, it's normal. But let there be a bad chick on the basketball court. They're going to try 50 times as hard. Literally, I've seen it multiple times. We be playing at the freaking gym, at the school. It's calm. It's chill. A little, a little hard foul on rare occasion. But a baddie come in, or especially the, his, his girl come in, it's going to be a fight by the end of that, at that, uh, that match, bro. I don't even really like to play. For real. It's okay. Josh can take the last shot. Y'all be annoying. Hey, buddy. Don't pass it to that black. Miss. Miss. You're not hitting that. Dang, she look good. Told you you're not hitting that. Watch that drain. Watch that fire. That's my type of shot, too. Yeah, hey. I told you, you should take the shot. You would have made it. Hey, uh, I guess, uh, you're not as good as they say you are. Yeah. <laughs> good game, loser. I'm gonna talk to you that way. <laughs> say something back. So, okay. okay. I wanted to ask you if you wanted to go to prom. No. No. That was his crush. He was gonna ask her out. Buddy just snuck in and 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 and, and swooped her. Now we uh we might have to look at the IGs afterwards, cause the one in the middle and on the right look kind of solid. I ain't gonna lie. Let's go. Especially in the middle. Kate look bad. And he took Kate. What do Tough. I always say? If you don't stand for something, you don't fall for anything. Yeah, we gotta do some uh, some research. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't necessary. <laughs> now, was that really necessary, y'all? Like, come on, bro. For what reason? For what? For what, bro? Dang, she feeling Ralph. too. Ralph. Ralph. <gasps> Don't you have that big meeting today? Aren't you gonna be late? What time is it? Shoot. Were you up all night jungle. watching TV and eating junk? Oh my god, you're acting like you're 21 I like again. her too. 17. What? That's the name of the movie. 17 again. It's it's about this dad that tries to go back in time and Okay, this isn't some sci-fi fantasy, Ralph. This is real life. Now hurry up. Get dressed. Oh my god, you're such a slob. I got That's it. That's what I'm saying. Why would you want to be 17? The kiddo's ready to go? How many times have they tell you to stop calling us kiddos? And how many times have I asked you to stop calling me bruh? <laughs> bruh. <laughs> bruh. I'd rather be forever 21. Cause you're still young, you can drink. You forever 17, you can't buy no smokes. I don't smoke. You can't buy no alcohol, like. The freak. Brittany, that's, that's all you're having for breakfast? Harder to you get a any peanut butter or anything? Hard to get a car Can I watch my weight before prom? Airbnb? <laughs> what do you mean? You're already so thin. Oh, so Why do you need to watch your weight? Holy. Her boyfriend Johnny called her fat. What? Be quiet, Benjamin. At least I have a date for prom. It's more than you can say. Dang. Brittany, did your boyfriend really say that? I've noticed that you've been a lot more worried about your appearance lately. You shouldn't let anyone make you feel insecure about yourself. You're so pretty. Appreciate it. Pretty yes, ugly. Like that. Ow! Stop talking to your sister that way, Benjamin. Maybe if you were nicer to her, she'd ask one of her friends to be your date. 
My friends would rather eat barf than be a state for prom. Besides, we all know he can't talk to a girl. He's had a crush on Cindy since freshman year, and she doesn't even know he exists. Oh, like me for real. Look, uh, Benjamin, if you ever need any pointers on... Oh, please. Why would I want advice from the guy getting divorced? God. <laughs> what I miss. Jeez. So. Cookie. You know how we're, like, trying to sell stuff? Well, I was thinking that what if we made the ads? Sarah, baby. Wait for it. Hey, mama. Invisible. <laughs> I didn't even know she was in here. I got a, I got a nice surprise. Invisible. Yeah. Invisible. Christmas came earlier. Picture this. People are scrolling on their phones. Scrolling. Then boom! Nothing. No ads. <gasps> then like, subliminally. I love you, Sarah. Suddenly get the urge. But what the frick are you talking about? To buy things. Respectfully. Genius, right? I mean, who needs to see ads, right? I mean, boring. <laughs> but then they'll still want to buy things. And then we become like the puppet masters, holding That's... all their little strings. Oh, and we can call it ad sense. Right, yeah. Like the absence no. of ads. No. Get it? Yeah, she definitely only part of the team because she looked good. I mean, I feel that if I was a boss, I would definitely have her as my secretary and my assistant. So I could have something to look at, something pretty to look at all day because Laura knows, with all due respect, she do not need to be making any business decisions, bro. I'm listening to her yap. Not even making sense, but she beautiful, so we're gonna give her a pass. I know, it's clever, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, Stacy, you, you are just... <laughs> That was a very unique presentation, <laughs> Stacey. Thank you. <laughs> but the disco pen was a nice touch, right? All right, uh, moving along to our next uh, part of this business here. Um, the senior VP of marketing position is open, and this was not an easy decision to make by any means. I mean, I just focused long and hard on this. Oz. But I decided that the promotion should go to Quaymax. To Stacy. Thank you. Sir. What? Wait, Stacy? Sure, why not? She's done a great job over these last three weeks. Hey, everybody, give Stacy a round of applause. Oh, that's his friend from 20 years ago. Uh, excuse me, hey. sir. With all due respect, um, we were all under the assumption that Ralph will become the new CRVP of marketing. He's been the longest and he definitely deserves it. But, Sarah, baby. Uh, I didn't realize you were interested in the position. Do you feel like this job is yours? Yeah. I mean, wh whatever you think is best, sir. Stacy's a fine choice as well. Oh, my God. Brother, he well, gave you he gave you the alley oop. That's like that's like Dwayne Wade throwing the alley oop. LeBron looking at it like watching it go out of bounds. Brother, you supposed to boom that. Bye. That was he was basically going to give you that that VP position, bro. Matter of fact, you, didn't, you know what? Keep it. Let Stacy get it. Obviously, he don't want it. He really don't want it. Obviously, he's like, no. What do we say? All right, fine. Let Stacy have it. That's great that you support my decision. All right. You don't that settles it. So, do you want to go in and see your new office? Yes, this is going to be so much fun. But first, I'm going right can I it. get a pink office chair? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you like it. You got good taste, man. I feel it. You got good taste. Yo, what was that? What was my... Oh, I don't know. The position that belongs to you? No one works harder at this company. Right. And he only gave it to her because clearly they got something going on. Yes, sir. Just like How me. How come you didn't speak up when you had the chance? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Bro, I've been doing this I for 20 years. I guess I just got bro. nervous. 
Wow. You're still the same Ralph since high school. For sure. What I used to always tell you. If you don't stand for something, then you'll fall for anything. You don't have to remind me. My life's already a complete mess. My wife's divorcing me. My kids hate me. And now I just lost a promotion to a girl that's been here for less than a month. Oh, well, none of that would have happened if you... She been here less than four weeks? Oh, yeah, you're the problem, buddy. Buddy, you can't, like, like 20 years of the same thing, bro. Insanity is doing the same thing and expecting different results. Brother, you've been a little puss-puss for 20 years. You got your, your wannabe bit taken from you, all right? Your wife divorcing, divorcing you because you can't stand up for yourself. The kids don't frick with you because you don't stand up for yourself. You lost a fire position, a senior VP, because you couldn't stand up for yourself. You're just a little pussy, okay? You're gonna, you were born a little pussy, you're going to die a pussy, okay? So there, you, can't, you can't be self-loathing, brother. You had the chance to, to change. 20 years, you couldn't even do that. You're a grown man. You're not 17 no more. If you grew a the spine, fuck? Ralph. It's a lot easier said than done. I, I've just only been there a month, less. Maybe because my dad was like that too. I, I keep having dreams of that day in high school when we were playing basketball. Yeah. Sometimes I wish I could go back and do things differently. Like that movie 17 again. Then I could face my demons and my life wouldn't have turned out this way. 17 again? Yeah. Zach Efron goes back in time and does things completely differently to turn his life around. Yeah, but too bad life isn't like the movies. I think I've seen that. I it thought it was 21. advertising business. <laughs> what do you mean? Did you forget what we do for a living? We sell things. i seen that. Zach Efron. If I make 20 phone calls, I bet I can make the whole world believe that you're in high school again. No one in books, I would know the difference. Well, your kids might. For what? Why do you need to go back to high school? I gotta go try to convince my wife not to divorce me. Too late for that, buddy. See you later. Owen, thanks for always being there for me, Fred. I really appreciate it, man. Yeah. God. Fred got a lot of patience, sir. You gotta deal with him being a freaking a whistle. I'm so sorry I'm late. I, I couldn't find parking anywhere. Yeah. Well, let's just go ahead and get started, shall we, since we're late already? Considering their irreconcilable differences, my client is willing to accept half of everything. 50-50, <laughs> straight down the middle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Hey. Let's slow down here. I didn't realize things had gotten to this point. I thought, I thought there was still a chance for us to reconcile. Well, that opportunity has passed, Mr. Mitchell. My client feels that she's waited around long enough and there's been no progress. Hey. You're a bum. What do you want me to say, Ralph? Even though we've been together for so long, I feel broke. completely alone. I want a partner who actively engages in decision making. That's just not you. Dang, you called him a pussy. <laughs> that was an extremely nice way to call him a little bitch. That's tough. Me personally, can't go for it personally. That's good. Maybe not in the past. <laughs> But I'm working on it. Working on it? How? Probably. Nothing has changed. And it's exhausting feeling like I'm the only one taking the lead here. Hey. I want to be in a marriage where we both contribute equally. And not where everything just falls on my shoulders. Rose, you're not even a man. You're I, a thought, man. I thought I was being supportive. Support is more than just going along with everything. It's actively participating and taking initiative. You don't. Shit, she need a real man. Like I like he's so much of a pushover. Like his his former wife, his ex, she could bring a a, a BBC black king such as myself. And it's like we're about to go up we about to go upstairs and hang out. Is that okay with you? I mean, if that's what you really want to do, I, I I guess you can. Like, bro, he one of those, bro. Well, Julie has expressed her needs, and let's give Ralph a chance to respond. Is there anything you would like to say, Ralph? <clears throat> Please. I... Please. 
All right, well. Bro, this is a bitch. Oh my God, bro, he's so, bro. He is such a bitch, bro. Oh my God, oh my God, bro. Like, literally like the softness of softest. Charming, extra, extreme soft, ultra soft. Brother, I could just rob him right now. I'm no, I am not a thug. I'm not a thug. But I could walk up to him and rob him. He could have 20000 in his pocket. I could just straight take it from him. He's going to do absolutely nothing. This is crazy. She could, she could bring 10 guys over to have a, a train. No orgy. A train ran on her. He, she, he could be like, okay. Hey, bro, you're such a bitch. That settles it. Take your Making time over our proposal, <laughs> and we will see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. sharp God, at the courthouse damn. to finalize this uh, divorce. Pissing me off. And Mr. Mitchell, please me. don't be late. Like a little hoe. Got her crying. She probably would have took you back too. I want to smack him. Ah, oh, come on in. Come on in. Oh, this is Kylie, the hair and makeup artist. And hey, this Kylie. is where your new identity will be born. Do you have the picture of yourself? Yes. Why? Whew, yes. Because you, my friend, are about to look 17 again. Let's get to work. Basically, just gonna look how he actually looks. I'm not really freaking with that hair, though. Respect to the queen. All right, darn man, I see you. I see you got a little, you got a little bopping. Now, if this don't work, bro. So your name is Zach Efron. Uh, yeah, my friend, I mean, my mom named me that because she had a huge crush on Zach growing up. What? Crazy. I see. Right. Welcome to Bookside. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, my man, I guess. Boy, I lied. All right, you about to redo it. Can you please not be a little puss puss? Hi, Cindy. Hey, Cindy. Do you want to go to the prom with me? <laughs> Buddy, you scared to talk to that? Come on, man. Don't tell me you're thinking about joining the basketball team. Maybe. Why? Because you'll never make the team. Loser. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Disney hey, Channel sitcom? Were you just flirting with Shelby? What are you talking about? I wasn't. I mean, if you spent half as much time worrying about yourself as you do worrying about what I'm doing, the baby wouldn't look like that. Yeah, he definitely cheated. What's that supposed to mean? I mean, if you don't drop a couple pounds, I'm taking somebody else to prom. Was that necessary? <laughs> I don't think that was necessary. Couldn't hear me. I told you ain't no way you're making the team. I want to let that happen. Man, that was lucky. I bet you can't do that again. Eyes up. Brother look Next like he me and him the same age, man. Frick he doing with them kids. Screen, 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 screen. Bro look a good 25. Oh. That's none of that. Oh, whoa, hey. It's way too rough, Jackson. It's not my fault he can't guard me. Yeah, that's not fair, bro. You okay, like, son? I think you have to sub me out. 26. Great. Do any of you know how to play basketball? What about you? Do you know how to ball? Of course. Okay. Come on, get in here. Here, put this on. Die. What are you... I'll explain later. Right now, 
you know, focus on winning this game. Hey, you guys may as well give us the dough. It's not like you're gonna score on us. <laughs> Black ass. Huddle up. Black? Pass me the ball. I'll take the last shot. I think Benjamin should take the shot. What do you say, son? I, I mean, uh, really? That's right. right. <laughs> take the shot. I'll set up the screen. You sure? Let's do this, fellas. He's right, like, son. Go. All right, man. Don't mess this up, man. You done got to read it. Let's try this again, part two. You about to pull up? Yeah, you about to throw it. I mean, you about to shoot it. Come on, you want to shoot it to pass it, young blood? Okay, no, he passed it. That's in? some kind of old man with makeup or something? That's right. And this old man and his son just schooled you. So go on and get out of here. Yeah, doofus. <laughs> hey, Benny. You know my name? <laughs> of course I do, silly. I was wondering, are you going to prom with anyone? Uh, uh, if not, do you want to go with me? Uh oh. Uh, would you, uh, um, I think the answer is yes. Yeah. Definitely yes. <laughs> okay. Did you see that? that? Yeah, you did great. Thanks. I'm sorry. I have to go take care of something. See you later. See, I told you I wasn't talking to her. <laughs> you should be lucky that a guy like me would even talk to a girl like you. Hey, let me tell you Zero. something. Brittany's the most beautiful girl at this school, and you should feel lucky she even gives you the time of day. If you don't treat her right, You've got a problem with me. You understand? Right. Boy? I said, do you understand? Nick. Yeah. Get Brittany, the step. It's me. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have. Yeah. Thank you, Dad. You've never stood up for me like that before. Right I should have been you. better. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. I gotta go. I'll see you at home. Wait, why are you wearing makeup? Is your client not gonna show today, Mr. Williams? I don't know what happened. He should have been here. Okay, well, seeing as though counsel has already reached a tentative agreement anyway, I hereby order this divorce is- Wait! Wait. Ralph! Why are you- Julie, I, I didn't think I'd ever have to say these things in a court or ever, but here we are. The, the last time we were standing here, all these years ago, is when I promised I'd love you forever. And, and I'm here to tell you I, I meant did. it. Okay. And I still do. Finally, bro. If you give me another chance, I can't, I can't promise everything's gonna be perfect. We're gonna have problems. But I swear, I will always fight for our love story and be the man that you need me to be. Thank you, bro. Because, oh. because I'm not ready to throw in the towel yet. I still believe in our forever. So what do you say? Will you give me one more chance? Should we rip it up? But you gotta stand on that though. This case is dismissed. I gotta ask, what changed? You've never spoken up like that before. Uh, let's just say I finally realized if I don't stand up for something, then yeah, I'll fall for anything. Everything. Yeah. And that's why from now on I'm gonna stand up for myself, Thank God. our kids, and most importantly, our marriage. Only took you 37 years. You ready to go home? Actually, can we just make one quick stop? How are you liking your new office? Oh, snap. Hey, boss. Um, it's not if you have to grab it on the promotion. Mm -hmm. And I think you should give it to me. Unless you want me talking to the board and letting them know you gave it to someone you're having inappropriate relations with. I don't 
lever för det. Jag lever för det. Jag ser Sarah som all, all professional. I like that. That's hot. That's hot. Middle-aged man poses a high school. What happens next is shocking, bro. Thank God, bro. He finally grew some and did what he was supposed to do years ago. 20 years ago, buddy. Because in the beginning, bro, was such a pushover. Bad, bro. Literally, somebody could do anything to him. He going to let that joint slide. He claimed his, he loved his wife, and, and he was going to let the divorce happen. Crazy. Bro, like, like, geez, Louis, bro had the chance to get the senior VP position. And he like, uh, no, I guess, whatever you say. I, I trust your judgment. Like, like, what? Meanwhile, he was cracking her. I would have done the same thing. If Sarah's my assistant, I would have had inappropriate professional relationships with her as well. Of course, both uh, with, it, with it both being consensual on both sides, I would have had some inappropriate professional uh, uh, relationships with her sexually, of course. But anyway, thank God for watching. Uh, we got to find that girl's IG. I'm sorry. Hold on, guys. We, we done found the IG of, of Miss Kate. It was Kate. That's what I was looking for. Not gonna lie, she's definitely a cutie patootie. Okay, yes, God, yeah, God, God, damn. Nah, she bad for sure. Ooh wee, wait, that's Spanish, right? She Latina? She look, is she Latina or Indian? Let's see, PE. What is PE? Physical education? Oh, she Peruvian. Oh, she is Latina. Yeah, she didn't got extra points. Yeah. Now this is definitely a queen for sure. Queen Max, what about Sarah? Nah, Sarah, I still love Sarah. That's my boo too. Um anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it, type B. Um, I'm out.